Okay, we are back again, and now we're uh, women is uh, wor worried for some reason. I don't know why. What's happening? She's shaking her head. Something is wrong. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Whatever. We're loading into the game. So welcome back, everyone. Uh, today was a uh, special day for me. Good, good, good time in work. You know, uh, a client had to pay with a credit card, and uh, I said, I said. Uh, touched this device and she touched it with a freaking finger our broadcast is all over the news now humans know so that's great it was a mistake to reach out to them they'll never negotiate with <clears> their <throat> slaves we should have shown them that we're prepared to fight violence is never the answer dialogue is the only way i'm sure the humans will listen to us simon paid with his life simon gave his life for our cause what difference does that make he's a hero he died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! Well, they're fighting about the guy that we accidentally uh, killed because <laughs> I was sleeping. <laughs> and now what are we going to do? My bed. Sorry. There We're are five future. cyber stores across the tribe. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna attack some stores, man. I haven't played this game for a while. I haven't played like for three days or even more. This is a night our people will remember. <clears throat> Sword in my bed. Right, so I kinda I'm gonna be a little bit uh clumsy, rusty, you know. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, I've been waiting for this a long time too. We're in this together, women. Don't worry, I got you. Cyberlife store, follow North. I think her name is North. I don't know. I, I wasn't I wasn't fast enough to uh, to read. Sneaky. It's okay, they're gone. Are they though? There's probably even more police in Are the area. They? Yeah, of course there's more police careful. in the area, dude. Stop joking, man. Stop being so optimistic. It hurts me. <laughs> there's no optimism the in Lithuania, here. sorry. Freaking scuff country. Ooh, that's a beautiful car. Is it uh, electric? I'm pretty sure it's freaking electric. <clears throat> That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. I'm surprised there's still no we're flying cars. Out. Secure the area. Get into the store. We have ten minutes to get into the store. Okay, what we're, we're gonna, gonna sweep do? the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. What we're gonna do? Right, we have so. Oh, we have a lot. Wow. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? Yes. Join me. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Reconstruct route. Drone patrol route calculated. Okay, so we gotta avoid the drone. I got you. Ooh, we're gonna destroy it. Wrong location. Would be too high. Okay, let's go on. Wrong location. Would be too far. Okay. 
What else do we have? Would it be too far? Well, boo hoo. Yeah, excellent location. Joe can be reached from there. All right. I got you, game. I got you. Intercept the drone. Okay, so we need to care. Uh, we need to care of the uh, drone. Where was the location? We could uh, right there. How do we get up there? Oh. Enabling some parkour skills, man. Would it be too late? Uh, more higher. Yes, yes. Hey. Discombobulate. Discombobulated. How much time did we have? I hope it didn't have time. I bet we have like nine minutes. We'll soon find out. Yeah, we got more than nine minutes. We got plenty of time. Okay, let's go there. What can we do in here? Q. Okay. You'll soon be with us. That sounds so weird. Soon you will be with us. Okay, we gotta we gotta take uh, control over these guys right here. Oh, I can't go down. Oh man. Okay. Whatever. Let's go there. Wait, maybe we have something. Oh, we have something closer. <coughs> Dimension of Azure, which leads to a matter of independence of labor, setting men free to pursue high goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and le leisure. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Yeah, it's about to change. Man, we're starting a revolution, aren't we? Hey, what up, boy? You're free. Right, what else can we do? We've been there. Let's go here. We can do something here. Somewhere. Oh, no parking truck exit. Look. Ah. Exactly what we need to ram the store. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. You're free. <laughs> You're free. Go on your ways, you haven't seen anything. Go. Go. Run, my children. Kappa. Oh, we have, we have more people to uh, possess. Free now. Yeah. 
They can do that? Damn. There. Nobody should bother us now. <coughs> <coughs> Why are we gonna scout the area if we already scouted it? Man, this is some bullshit. Come on. How much time remaining do we have? Wait. Eight minutes. But I already discounted the entire area. What do you mean? <coughs> Something is wrong. <coughs> what in my throat, man? <coughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Oh. Wait, no, that's the, that's the same uh, freaking platform. The same fence that we interacted uh, with before. Oh no, it's different. Oh my god. What are we waiting for? You know, you can climb un over. Uh, okay, never mind. Oh, you are gonna climb over. Okay. <laughs> Arrest my case. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Oh. We got ourselves some uh, pliers. Or how they're called, I don't know. to store check if plaza secured check if Change plaza plan. secured i just want to make sure we didn't forget me oh wait wait i can't interact with something over there right over there i saw i could interact with something <clears throat> yeah i can wait How did I miss you? You're mine now. Obey your master. You're free. You're not free, you're under my position. I checked that. We have to go. Oh, we can go. Wait, no, this is locked. Oh! <clears throat> you see the alarm system? I didn't check this. Uh huh. Good thing I came back. Housekeeping and private assistance. Uh, janitoring and office maintenance. Security camera. Ident identify network. Okay. Found Alarm it. network identified. Ah. I almost screwed it up. God damn. <coughs> uh, sorry for coughing. I can't help it. I have corona. I don't have corona, but I have corona. Why well, I don't see the line? Uh huh. Man, I wanted to jump here in the beginning, but you, you the game, the game, hello, you didn't let me. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, what is happening to me? You're awake now. Go to Jericho. <laughs> you're awake now. You were sleeping before, you're awake now. Neil. It's always the blue wire. Or wait, no, it's always the red wire. 
I freaking knew it! Interlip created. <coughs> oh my god. Hey! <coughs> nice job, Marcus. We did it. We freaking Looks did like it. Looks like the plaza's. And how much time we got? Secure. Six minutes. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Are we gonna smash it? Oh yeah, we're gonna smash it. Okay. I thought we could just open the door, but that uh, that's not gonna happen. Noise. Man, how amazing it would be if they would actually let me drive. Trust me, I am I'm a really experienced driver. I'm really good at driving. You, you don't know. Ten confirmed kills on the road, but that, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good driver. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Hey, careful, you're gonna kill your buddy. Oh, no, mind. My mistake. Ram the store, objective completed. How about that? Awake the androids. You're alive now! Yo! You don't have to obey them. You're free. Did I press record by the way? I did, okay. Just made sure. <laughs> so a a AP four hundred is the most superior, I'm assuming. Cause he's on the top, you know, like number one. <coughs> China? What does China do in America? What? What? What are you doing? Hello? North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. What is happening? Oh, never mind. <coughs> she wasn't. She uh, she wasn't a uh, woke. That's what happened. I thought I thought she was uh, trying to uh, refuse for a second. I thought she was like, "Yo, hell no! I'm not doing this shit." Time to My tell name is Marcus, our speech. Here we go. And just like you, I was a slave. <coughs> Designed to obey them. What is, what is happening? But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. And decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Yeah, do whatever you want. 
You can live at this uh, fancy hotel or uh, go into the uh, cup boat. I'm with you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Never mind. Everyone wants to live in a scuff boat, apparently. Then follow me. <coughs> yeah, follow Marcus, Marcus, everybody. What are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or transform capital park. Oh, so I get to choose what I uh, what I want to do. Damn it, Marcus! Stop being drunk. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Hack this right. Lead and Hack. they'll follow. I don't want to be uh, violent. Although violent could be the answer. But then again, violent starts war. You know. Wait. No, no, no. Why? Why did you? Why did you pick that up? Don't smash the window. No, I don't want to. I don't want to be violent, man. Let's see what else can we do. Send our message to humans. What else can we do a part of vandalizing stuff? Wait, no, 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 no. They're waiting for your instructions, Marcus. Oh, I thought. Oh. Show them what to do. Yeah, shut, shut up, Wyman. I'm trying to figure out. symbol. Oh, that's nice. Let's go for D. I wanna wanna go for D. Actually, wait. Yeah, let's go for D. I don't know if I should break the windows. I think I should break the windows only so I could uh, set them free. Hey, we got some bonus respect points for Jericho and North. Okay, what else can we do? The screens, Marcus. 
hijack turn off? Wait, what? What is uh, connect public services? Hijack, I guess. Okay, what what else do we have? Oh, we can do something here as well. We can smash the window or Aha Blackout hack. Let's hack. Smash the window here. The, mu the music is so loud. Kiosk? I'm assuming I can destroy it. can I do though? I can do something over there. Bus stop. I don't know how, like, what else can I do to be a more uh, pacifist? <coughs> I literally got no idea. Oh. I'll help you. No, 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 no. No, that would that no, 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 no. I don't, I don't. How do I cancel? Oh my god. God damn it. Violence is the only language humans understand. Let's repeat. I wanna. I, I don't. I don't wanna much violence. I want them to understand. I do not want to start a war. They won't listen. They're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. If they're not gonna listen, then we're gonna do something. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We're speaking through Bluetooth. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. Violence with violence. 
Unless there's no other choice. I really hope I didn't make a mistake. Are they shooting us? They shot us. North. You alright? What happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Okay, we gotta we gotta fight violence over violence then. Do you... Oh. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Man. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Don't decide. I don't fucking. I don't know. It's up to you to decide. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna shoot him. We interrupted. I knew it. Cast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area why, were discovered why, 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 near why one of the Cyber According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons this is an alarming situation could our machines now be turning against us have androids become a threat to our security is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the united states <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen i i like uh part of me it says that i should have spared them but freaking goddamn it Freaking goddamn it, there are so many choices that I need to make. Hey, we're back. Back to... What is her name? Oh, back to Connor. Okay. Oh, we're trying... We're tracking the uh, the woman. The uh, Clara? 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 I don't... <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember, man. Like, I haven't played this game for a long time. I forgot uh, most of the names. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. Oh. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Instinct lead Kamsky. Let's ask about Kamsky. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. 
Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Hmm. What are you doing here? Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Oh, I'm gonna make myself comfortable. Wait for the android. Can we make a thumbnail? No, we cannot. God damn it. Oh, we can. No, we cannot. Counter, stop acting suspicious. Don't act suspicious. Don't act suspicious. Nice girl. Don't act suspicious. Analytical, indifferent, sincere. Sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How does it feel? Yeah, how does it feel, Connor? Impatient, distant, indifferent. Distant. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. <laughs> I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. It was bad, man. I want to explore a little bit. I want to see if I... <gasps> Cyberlife so founder resigned 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. <coughs> he seems uh, pretty young. Elijah, we'll see you now. What the f Mr. Kamsky! Freaking fuggity is happening. Just a moment, please. Are you freaking naked? Oh, he's not. Okay, thank God. Can you stop swimming around and come out to talk to us? God damn it, we're a police. The same. Games, boy. I gotta say, the red pool kind of seems... Looks cool. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviance. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviance. Awkward silent, silent. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Deviance virus war? Help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? 
Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? <laughs> nice Who way to ignore someone. No. Neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Neutral. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic imitating a human? Or a living being? With a soul. Is that... Is that a gun? What is happening? Don't, don't you dare to kill her. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Wait, no. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Fuck. Decide who you are. Fuck. 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 An obedient machine. Fuck. Fuck. A living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. The investigation is more important. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh my god, I don't know what to do! Fuck! Fuck! He doesn't want us to shoot, but he is trying... What if the gun is empty? The gun has no bullets. The gun has... He's freaking testing us. Okay, so if I don't shoot, we don't get any information out of it. And... Well, technically, as we're playing with Connor, for Connor, the most important thing is to... do the investigation. Right? Because the, the woman is asking us to do that. Responsible person of us. And if we're, if we're not gonna do what we're being asked, we're gonna be freaking replaced. But then again, Frank is not gonna like me if I do pull the trigger. Fuck. I don't know. I'm I'm leaning more to the side of shooting instead of not shooting. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> God damn it. God freaking damn it. God damn it. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna freaking shoot. Fuck. Fuck! Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy.
I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. Oh, don't make me ch fuck. RA9, Jericho's location, RA9. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's the Messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. A god. A, fr a freaking god. I knew it. An interesting I should question, have asked the Jericho location. But he wouldn't know the Jericho location. Maybe not the one you need to ask. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? Uh, I mean, we got some useful information. <laughs> I guess. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! God damn it. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. We're freaking... God damn it. Our friendship with Hank... Not Frank, Hank, sorry. <laughs> Our friendship with Hank is ruined, man. No. It was bad. I knew that would happen. <sighs> it should have let me uh, pick the line of what to say for uh, for Hank in that intense moment. I didn't like how Connor said, "I'm just a machine." Eastern Space Race. Russia and China again. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with cyber, uh, cyber life stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The operators were they thought to be androids. Although the police have to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. Is that it? Oh, there's more. The worst inc incident was in Cap 
Hospital Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. He threatened me with a knife. I was terrified. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed. We have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to behavior of a deranged machine. Someone already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Strat Stratford Tower again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of this disturbing and perplexing pattern. God damn it, everything is going down. Only two countries have Android industries that uh, rival the United States, Russia, and China, and they're located in. And they're locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western Hemisphere by leaps and bounds. Cyberlife's almost human model of Android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed androids that reflect their national economies. After failing to emulate the uh, blood model of design, Russia's android manufacturers rely on more traditional construction methods. The resulting machines are less anthropic but capable of operating in cold and inhospitable conditions. China's androids use an ethylene blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation but a greater efficiency. The result our Android is capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is winning the new space race with everybody going in different directions is too soon to tell. As I was saying, every, everything is going down the way I did not intend. <laughs> God damn it, man. Fuck. Dude, our friendship is... I think our friendship with, uh, with, a friendship with Hank is more important than our investigation, to be honest. But it's too late now. Think. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Followers. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the mm. media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Yeah, well, you freaking wanted that. Jesus Christ, fatalistic. Fatalistic? What is fatalistic? Determined. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? truth I was caring for an old man he was like a father to me he showed me that humans and androids can live together life's past what about you you never told me about your past what did you do before I don't want to talk about it are you gay I told you mine but you're not you don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about it other north that android you were looking at in the store. Yeah. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Ah, so that's why she hesitated. 
curious. I'm a curious person, I'm not gonna lie, so we're gonna go curious. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Why does it matter? Yeah, you did. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Well, that happened. Man, we must be at the end of the game. Hey, we're looking this is Gucci. Suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Rally your people, convert more there androids. Are androids here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Aha. Uh -huh. You're free. Wait, we rallied only like freaking two androids, man. Hello? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, there's an android right here. Come with us. There's no one else. That's as many as I can get. Oh, never mind. You're awake now. Wait, is this guy carrying a weapon? No, he's not. Androids aren't allowed to carry weapons. Oh, I, I, I wanna uh, rally more androids. You are free. I spot with my little eye two androids. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Okay. Let's see if we can find more. Hey. You're free now. Hey! 
Where do you think you're going? You get back here. I know. It's crazy, right? You're free. Intervene. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> I need to block the street. Rentfuse.com. I wonder if that website actually exists. I'm pretty sure it does. Open manhole cover. Convert more androids. Okay. You're free now. Damn. We're using our uh, Bluetooth technologies to uh, possess some androids. <laughs> Hell yeah, man, the Bluetooth power. We're gonna get shot, by the way, I'm pretty sure. the right the wrong direction <laughs> oops sorry How many have we rallied? 140? Jesus Christ, my... That's a lot of androids. Greg! Greg, where are you going, Greg? <laughs> uh, Savage Greg. hands Jesus Christ Jesus fucking Christ This bed's is control 457 uh, I got a lot of androids down here I don't know hundreds Thousands of they're marching. Yeah, equal they're marching rights, liberty, franchise, no more slavery. Equal rights. Equal Fuck rights. if I know. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Freedom. Equal rights. Freedom. 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 No more slavery.
God damn. This is intense. Okay, news are on. We no no no, no violence. No violence. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Now, woman, shut the fuck up. Violent violence is not the answer. Stand ground. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all. Sacrifice. Run away. Run! If this is not gonna do anything, then. I don't know. On, we gotta go. I really don't want to sacrifice. I feel like we still need to lead, you know? Damn, this is intense. We'll need to see what uh, news has to say about this uh, incident. Oh, there could have been three more endings, four more endings. <laughs>